I have a new Coyote 35 horse tractor and this is the backhoe that goes on it. It's a KB2475 and it's uh, mounted on a subframe. When I take it off the tractor I set it down on that block right there. There's the front of the subframe. That's the bar that slides into a bracket on the tractor. And then that's on the back end of the tractor, that bar there slides into a bracket on the back. So the first step is to back the tractor up as straight as you can over the top of the subframe. The hydrostatic drive is real nice for this. You can ease the tractor back nice and slow. And keep an eye on uh, where you are as in relation to the subframe. And there um, is that crossbar right there that slides up into the bracket. Before I raise it up, I like to back the tractor up into position until it's just about right. Next step is to shut the tractor off and connect our hydraulic hoses. There's a switch that turns the pump on and off. Neutral's in the middle. So we've got the quick connects on the uh, hydraulic hoses and there's a little colored tie. This one has a white colored tie on it so I know it's the bottom hose. There's the white tie and the top one has a red plastic tie wrapped around it so I know that's the top one. There we go, we put the pump in gear and the next step is to raise the subframe up so that we can slide those two bars, the one in the middle of the tractor and one on the back, into the brackets. Here's the back. You can see I'm raising that up using the uh, downriggers. And here's the one in the center of the tractor that's going to slide right up into that bracket so I can adjust that up and down. until I get it lined up just right. So then we back the tractor up and both bars will slide right into their brackets. Looking good. There are two pins that hold the uh, backhoe onto the tractor. Very convenient. So slide those uh, pins down in and, and lock them up and you're ready to go. Here we are. I like this uh, setup on this tractor. You can leave your three-point hitch arms right on the tractor. And uh, on, this, on this tractor there's adjustments for those arms so you can swing them out of the way. My old tractor I had to take the arms right off. So this is much more convenient. Right now I have the 16 inch bucket on the backhoe and the next job I'm going to do requires a 12 inch bucket. It's fairly easy to change the buckets. I set them down in my shed there on a block of wood and then there's just two bolts that you remove. On this tractor I have a toolbox which is real convenient. I didn't have one on my old tractor. So there's the two bolts that we're going to take out and they have lock nuts on them so you don't have to reef them down tight when you put them in. The lock nut will stay in place. So you pull those two bolts out and then with some kind of a bar you're going to tap the uh, pins out. There we go. We can pull those pins out of the out of the bucket, and uh, I set them down on my board there. And we'll lift up and swing over and get ready to hook up to the uh, 12 inch bucket. I always put the pins right back in. That way, I won't lose them. Each bucket comes with its own set of pins. And now we're gonna 
get that into position and uh, drop the arm down on it. Sometimes it goes in uh, pretty easy. That time it did. There's where the pin is. So when you get your, uh, or the bolt, I mean, so when you get your pin ready to drive in, you want to check where that hole is so that it drives in and it's pretty close. Then you may have to stick a, a bar in there to line up the holes so that that bolt will slide in there. And you put the lock nut on and uh, just snug it up so that you know that lock nut won't back off. Now in order to get this uh, bottom bolt in, I raise up the the hole and, uh, and use my leg. I can I can swing that bucket and adjust that so that I can get that pin started in there. And tap it in. So there we go. We get the bolt in and the uh, lock nut on there. It's a pretty pretty uh, quick change uh, for a bucket change. Now here's the backhoe um, downrigger and with this backhoe it doesn't come with a, a rubber foot. And I've noticed that this will slide around. It's so it's so flat. There's nothing to help grip. I wish it would have come with a with a rubber grip on there. Uh, on the downrigger there's a, a lock. So you just lift it off there. So when you're uh, traveling down the road, you know, you can keep things locked up. There's a um, a pin that that uh, locks your swing on the on the uh, backhoe too, and the drill goes right down through there. So you just pull that pin up out of there, and there's a place you can store it right there. And then there's one more lock keeps the uh, backhoe from dropping down when you're going down the road. Raise it up and. Lift that up. Now we're ready to do some digging. The hydraulics on this tractor are very fast compared to my old tractor, my old 1996 Coyote that I had. And uh, this backhoe has a little longer reach than my old one, which is nice. I had to get used to the controls. Uh, everyone's a little different, you know. So I've used this uh, backhoe uh, for a few times now and uh, I'm starting to get used to it. It takes a little time to uh, decide how fast you want to run the engine so that you've got a nice smooth operation. I had a woods backhoe on my old tractor and it ran it had its own pump which ran off from the PTO and I noticed with that tractor um, there's a difference between that backhoe and this one this one only will dig back uh, that, that arm right there will only come that close to the other and so if you're digging a deep hole and you want to look down in there sometimes you can't see. That's as far back as it comes, right there. So sometimes it's hard to see down into the hole. With my old tractor, I could back that tractor up almost to the hole and look, look right down in there. So this will take some time to get used to. But every backhoe's different. Every machine's different. Uh, there's a lot of pluses with this backhoe compared to my old one. This is a lot faster. It has good power. Uh, it has excellent power on the uh, on the swing arm, so you can uh, shove dirt with it, with a bucket. Here we go, right here. To smooth things off, you know, level level things off. My old backhoe didn't have that enough power to, to do that, so that's nice with this backhoe. I hope my review of the Coyote KB2475 backhoe uh, was helpful to you.
Overall, I'm very pleased with the new tractor and with the backhoe. So until next time, everybody, happy digging.